Your best hairbrush is probably $20, but if you're really looking for a hairbrush that would last you a decade, give Mason Pearson Hairbrush a try. Let's take a look at it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will talk about the Mason Pearson hairbrush. That is totally worth it. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Without realizing it, you probably have a mountain you would die on. An unorthodox point of view that you hold so fiercely that you are willing to stay by it no matter what. Perhaps your opinion is that Raisin Bran is the best cereal ever created. Alternatively, it may be argued that iPhones are overrated and that Android devices are the way to go. Or the fact that sliced bread wasn't even a really innovative creation. The $175 Mason Pearson hairbrush on the other hand may be completely worth the price for some people. This London-based hairbrush firm has made waves among celebrities like Heidi Klum, beauty bloggers on YouTube, and editorial sites in quest of the greatest hairbrush since the internet's inception. However, the brush has a longer history. Mason Pearson, an engineer, designed the now famous hairbrushes in England in 1885, and the Pearson family still owns and operates the company today. Let's take a look at their history. Mason Pearson used his experience in the wool processing sector to design an automatic brush boring machine that sped up the brush making process, earning him a silver medal at the International Inventions Exhibition in London in 1885. In the same year he developed the pneumatic rubber cushion hairbrush, which he named after himself. It took him until 1905 to perfect and hone his technique, which still required a lot of manual labour. When he died the following year at the age of 64, his widow Mary continued the business with their eldest son, Mason Jr., for another 20 years. Mason Pearson Brothers got the firm's name, which was a bit of a misnomer because the sisters were also highly involved. For 50 years, one sister ran the top floor of the factory in Old Ford Road, heralding generations of women who worked there. Due to commercial property development in the region, the firm relocated to Stratford in 1986, after 105 years on Old Ford Road. It remained there until 2009, when it was relocated to make room for the London Olympics. It relocated to Raynham, on London's eastern outskirts, and now employs over 60 people. The firm has also maintained a presence in London's West End since the 1920s. The core product hasn't altered much since the 1920s, and several of the original model names such as Large Extra, Small Extra, Popular and Junior are still in use today. What makes this brush truly unique though, is what it can do for your hair. If you have frizzy hair, you know that brushing it dry can be a nightmare, leaving your hair even more frizzy than before. Brushes by Mason Pearson aren't like that. They truly help your hair become smoother and shinier. The Junior Mixture Brush is a nylon and boar bristle blend that is delicate but strong enough to untangle wavy hair. The boar bristles evenly distribute your hair's natural oils from root to tip, leaving you with shiny locks all over instead of concentrated oily roots. It's also easy on my scalp and strands, so you don't have to yank through knots to untangle them, yanking away strands of already thin hair in the process. Let's take a more detailed look at every different bristle type. The large brush is the largest, with a 5.12 by 3 inch head and comes in either all nylon bristles or a mixture of nylon and boar bristles. The medium, of course, is a bit smaller, with a 4.62 by 2.75 inch head and comes in nylon bristles, extra stiff boar bristles, or a combo of nylon and boar bristles. This handy has a 4.37 by 2.5 inch head and comes in nylon stiff boar, fine boar, or a nylon and boar combo. The pocket is the smallest of the brushes. This has a 3.5 by 2 inch head and comes in boar bristle, fine boar, nylon, fine boar and nylon combo, and a child version for ages 3 to 6 that has fine boar bristles all cut to the same length. So why are the Mason Pearson brushes so expensive? The truth is that you're primarily paying for the brush's history and well-known name. Mason Pearson created an automatic brush boring machine to help speed up the brush making process, for which he was awarded a silver medal at the London International Inventions Exhibition. He also invented the pneumatic rubber cushion hairbrush, which is still in use today and provides a gentler brushing by causing the cushion to deflate and the bristles to follow. Given that the brushes were a huge hit right away and had a lot of positive feedback, the costs are reasonable. The original brush handles were made of hand-carved wood, but they've now been changed with hand-finished plastic to eliminate any sharp edges and make the hairbrush more comfortable to grasp. You can still order a made-to-order handcrafted light wood brush. A price quote is available upon request, although some must presume it will cost more than the $240 factory-made version. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now. 
but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.